I'm Layla, a very resilient mermaid. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel before listening to my story. The first time I visited the aquarium, I was 10 years old. It was also the first time I had seen mermaids in real life. Look, Mom, two mermaids are swimming at the same time. So beautiful. There are also fish and turtles, Mom. Mom, the mermaid just touched hands with me through the glass. She even blew me a kiss too. Amazing. What is a mermaid tail made of, Mom? It looks so sparkly and soft, like a real fish tail. I wish I could wear mermaid suits too. That's silicone, a very purple supple and durable material. If you do well this semester, I will buy you a beautiful mermaid suit. Do you agree? Hearing my mother's words, I jumped up. Over a month later, my mother gave me a mermaid suit. Oh, Layla, you look so funny. You look like a sea cucumber, round and long. That's right. I felt the same way, but I couldn't remember what it was. This mermaid is obese. I angrily kicked my friends out of the room. I disturbed myself by taking off the mermaid suit my mother had given me. Didn't forget to crumple it and threw it hard to give vent to my anger. At the same time, my mother opened the door and walked in, and the suit was completely in her hand. Darling, what's wrong with you? Don't you like this suit? My friends say you look like a sea cucumber and say that I am an obese mermaid. So outrageous! Now, that I think about it, I realize that my friends were not wrong. Indeed, when I was 10, I was very fat and weighed more than 100 pounds. I began to be self-conscious about my appearance. Since then, I never wore a mermaid suit again. Until one day, my dream suddenly arose. The school swimming club recruited members with a poster featuring a beautiful mermaid. I look at the poster with fascination. Layla, don't say that you like joining this club. Or do you want to be a mermaid-like in this picture? I... But you look so fat. You're probably better at diving than swimming. Bella and her <laughs> friends laugh in amusement, then walked away. Hey, Layla. Why do you look so sad? I... Uh... Nothing. You want to join this swimming club? It's fascinating. I've been participating in it for three months. You should join too. If you need help, I'm willing to. Uh, no. You're misunderstanding. I just saw the beautiful poster, so I wanted to have a look. I'm short and fat, and I can swim. How can I participate? I'm going now. In the following days, my mood was so bad. I vented my anger at everything in my house. I almost did not smile and my mother realized this. I want to be a mermaid, but everyone laughs at me. I'm even short and fat. Why did you give birth to me so ugly? Oh no, Leila, it's not as bad as you think. Look, you have big brown eyes, a high nose bridge, and a heart-shaped mouth. Everything will be perfect if you lose weight. You're criticizing me for being fat too. I'm encouraging you. Conquer yourself and your dreams, darling. I stood in front of the mirror and looked back at myself. Just like mom said, if I had a fit body, I would be a lot more beautiful. Over the years, I'd been so miserable and fed up with this fat body. I thought I needed to lose weight, but after a while, I lay low in bed again. Hey, Layla, today's the deadline to a play to the swimming club. Huh? But I'm not confident. I believe you can do it. You don't need to pay attention to Bella's group. Did you hear it all day? Oh, yes. This is the registration form. You should decide it yourself. It'll be a long time before the club has new recruitment. I look at the registration form, and the laughter of Bella's group suddenly rang in my head. I crumpled it, threw it in the trash, and left. Suddenly, I remember the words of encouragement from my mother and Matthew. I realized that my dream of being a mermaid had never been extinguished. I went back and rummaged through the trash of the registration form. Here it is. I breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. Though everyone around was looking at me with concerned eyes, I sneakily filled in the registration form like a thief. Layla. Oh, Matthew, you almost knocked out my heart. Are you done? Let me come with you to hand in your application. How do you know everything? You're watching me, aren't you? <laughs> the application's on the table. Do you think I'm blind? Hey, Layla, I have good news for you. You're accepted into the swimming club. Really? 
You're fooling me, aren't you? I don't have anything. Neither the appearance nor the ability to swim. So why did you sign up? Because, because I want to learn how to swim. Moreover, I decided to swim well enough to be a mermaid performing in an aquarium. That's why you're <gasps> accepted, idiot. Finally, the welcome for the new member of the club arrived. I was so nervous because everyone swam very well. Meanwhile, I didn't have any swimming skills. That was Bella. In her swimsuit, Bella looked beautiful and charming. She performed foot stomping movements and beat her hands very masterfully. Swimming next to her was a Matthew. People said that Bella and Matthew were made for each other. I felt the same way, but there was a little frustration in my heart. Those who did not know how to swim like me would learn basic movements first. Before entering the water, we had to warm up our bodies thoroughly to avoid cramps. I found it difficult to balance and master my body in the water. Matthew wholeheartedly helped me and showed me how to hold and catch my breath. Once, I drank water and cuffed. Three training sessions passed and I still couldn't float on my own. Was it too bad? You can do it, come on. Hearing Matthew's encouragement, I resolved to train. Matthew and I became closer, and I realized that Bella was annoyed by it. You really don't know how to swim, or you're trying to get close to Matthew? There have been so many training sessions if you haven't been able to swim yet. I don't think you should continue to practice anymore. It's just a waste of time. You're so fat. How can you <laughs> swim? I think you're better suited to sinking than swimming. Stop it! Is it glorious to laugh at others? You! Bella boiled over a suppressed anger and left. I felt ashamed. I began to seriously lose weight. As my mother said, every night, I spent 30 minutes practicing fat loss exercises at home, such as squats, planks, and twist crunches. I woke up earlier and jogged for about 20 minutes around the house every morning. I ate more vegetables, fish and meat and limited dishes that contain a lot of sugar and starch. I began to give up eating fried baked goods, cakes and carbonated drinks. At the same time, swimming in a pool near my house also helped me expand energy. Sometimes, I felt exhausted and wanted to give up, but just thinking about the mermaids made me determined again. After five months of summer vacation, people were surprised by my change. Am I right, darling? <laughs> Layla, is it really you? I can recognize you. You're so hot, Layla. However, there were still people who refused to accept my new look. You had a plastic surgery, didn't you? It doesn't look natural at all. Tell me, how much did it cost you to change your beauty? Admittedly, the doctor is also very skilled. Or can you introduce that doctor to me? But I ignore those harsh words. Oh, Layla. It's just been a few months, but you've changed a lot. You look great. Your swimming technique is improving so fast, Layla. Maybe your swimming skills are better than mine. We started diving. It was a lot harder than swimming. I practiced holding my breath on land and then underwater. At times, I was in a state of panic and bobbed under the water because of the lack of oxygen. Fortunately, I always had my handsome friend Matthew by my side. Calm down, try to relax. Don't exert too much, otherwise you may choke. The time went on and on. Although we had graduated from high school, we still pursued our passion. I practiced hard, gradually increasing my holding time to about 20 seconds. However, the mermaids under the aquarium I once knew had to hold their breath for at least 30 seconds. Not only that, but they should also always be in a state of smiling, spinning, and dancing underwater. Sometimes, I felt it was too much for me. To encourage me whenever possible, Matthew would take me on a tour of the aquarium where mermaids perform. I longed to be a mermaid and to perform in an aquarium, even if it was only once in my life. I trained diligently. I tried to control my body while in the water. Gradually, I was able to reach a depth of approximately 13 feet. Water pressure caused me many health problems, such as dry cracked skin, tinnitus, and red eyes, but they were not too concerning and I was happy to swim. After my swimming and diving skills had been mastered, I started practicing in a mermaid suit. You look like the mermaid performing professionally in an aquarium. I can't compare it to them. 
I believe that one day you'll work at your favorite aquarium. Swimming with a fish gel was not as easy as I thought. The legs were tightly bound together, requiring them to combine smoothly. In less than a minute, I had cramps, pain, and panic. I tried to use my hands to splash the water, pushing my body up, but couldn't. It was all water and I couldn't breathe. Noticing the anomaly, Matthew and the other friends pulled me up. The moment my head popped out of water, I knew I was still alive. Everyone quickly removed the fishtail and provided me with first aid. My left leg was stiff and could not be straightened. I greeted my teeth to suppress my cruciating pain. Are you okay, Layla? You look pale. It hurts, doesn't it? I used to have cramps too. I'm so scared when thinking about it. Luckily, everyone spotted it in time. Otherwise, you'd be in danger. I was obsessed with this and did not dare tell my mother. If she knew that, she would be worried and forbid me from swimming. My sense of confidence in the water was also greatly reduced. Once again, I wanted to give up. Oh no, Layla, you're almost there. Just look back at the difficult journey you've been through. You'll make it, I believe. As a result, I dared to overcome my fear. Before wearing the fish gel, I warmed up thoroughly, not forgetting to apply coconut oil to my legs to protect the skin. I was able to master my beautiful tail. I comfortably held my breath and curled under the water. And every 13 seconds, I rose to the surface to catch my breath. <laughs> With his talent and good looks, Matthew officially became the diver for a famous aquarium in Florida. Congratulations, Matthew! Soon, the aquarium where I'm working will have recruitment of underwater mermaid performers. Such a good opportunity. Don't miss it, Layla. Wow, I'll definitely try. Thinking of swimming with so many other sea creatures and seeing the bright smiles of visitors, I was very delighted. I worked hard to hold my breath and perform like a real mermaid. However, there was one thing I'd never tried. It was to be the underwater at the depth of 16 feet continuously for 30 minutes. You're not hearing it wrong. Instead of rising to the surface every 30 seconds to breathe, I would breathe underwater through a long air supply tube. Don't worry, you can do it. My good friend Matthew was always there to encourage me. To work in the aquarium, I had to pass this test and a lot of other girls. Layla, we've met again. It's been a long time since we last met. Let's try our best. There's only enough space for either of us, and that place will definitely be mine. I sighed and I watched Bella pass by. Bella was beautiful, and her swimming skills were better than mine. It would be normal for her to be selected. Anyway, this was my opportunity to perform at the bottom of the aquarium. I quickly regained my spirit and prepared for the performance. Two girls would perform at the same time. Bella and I were rivals. I somersaulted and constantly made beautiful turns. Every 30 seconds, I drew air from the long tube I held in my hand. I held in my hand. I exhaled, creating tiny beautiful bubbles as the whole auditorium <laughs> watched me. Based on the light emitted by the children's glittering rings, I swam closer to the glass, crossed the snorkel through my tail, and brought both hands to interact with the audience. I smiled at Bella as I watched her swim towards me. I arched, reaching for my tail to reach for the snorkel, but there was nothing. I turned my head to look and didn't huh? see the snorkel. I, I started to panic but tried to stay calm with a smile on my face. The view at the bottom of the aquarium was too limited. I made a few more turns, swam across the bottom, and tried to look around, but could not find the tube. In a few more seconds, I would no longer be able to hold my breath. At that moment, I thought that I would probably eliminate it. Suddenly, I heard noises coming from the reef behind me. As it turned out, the snorkel was entangled and stuck. The snorkel kept pounding up and down, hitting the coral wall and making noises. Behind me, the familiar diver Matthew was trying to wave the tube to signal me. I tugged my tail, swam to get the tube and inhaled. Your swimming and diving skills are quite proficient, but you still have to practice more. Charisma is the plus point that helps you get accepted into the company. Why was it that when you couldn't find the snorkel, you could still smile confidently? Because I believed I could do it, as my best friend always says. Good job. Try your best. The manager patted me on the shoulder. I look at Matthew with delight. We're colleagues. Thank you so much for helping me. Well, it turns out that the incident was arranged by the company to try me. No, 
As Bella swam past you, the tube accidentally entangled her fishtail. It was then dragged away and stuck to the reef. Oh, I see. A month later, while I was performing at the aquarium, Matthew dove in and gave me a rose. We danced hand in hand in clear blue water and ended the novelty performance with unrelenting applause from the audience. Layla, be my sweetheart. Matthew kneeled down, handing me a bouquet of bright red roses. I couldn't help but be surprised and delighted. I took the bouquet. Matthew then gently placed a kiss on my lips. Our colleagues clapped their hands and constantly cheered us.